Hello Intertubers and welcome to How Not To Play Frontier Part 3. So when we last left off uh, I was paralysed by indecision trying to go decide whether to go to V-Quest or Achenar. Well I've decided it's V-Quest. And there's a reason for this. So it's currently 16th of May. It will take me seven days of jumping plus two days of travelling, which means I can do anything by the 25th of May. So 26th will be fine. 21st is completely impossible. Another 26th. Fourth of June, easy. However, I'm also going to take two missions that sort of are for delivery by the 24th, which, according to my calculations, I will arrive late for. So, there we go. And the reason for this is I want to show you the cheat. So, here's the cheat. First of all, decide where we're going to go. Dickens base is as good a place as any. Turn the autopilot on, and let the autopilot handle it until it starts to ease off on the engines. Yeah, like that. Now it's time to take over. I'm going to uh, switch to uh, engines off mode. Um, hold down enter to uh, keep my rear engines blasting away and then charge towards the planet. So, actually, I'm going to pause this. What should happen now is uh, the autopilot, if I go to advanced time, then I should fly right past this uh, planet um, and maybe spend another three days watching the autopilot turn round and catch up. But here's what actually happens when I click on advanced time. I'm magically teleported to right in front of the space station and my velocity is magically set to, well, basically zero. So this is taking advantage of a cheat. Uh, the intent of the cheat is if you use the autopilot normally, um, then, oh, and I've been promoted to master, yay. Yeah, if you use the autopilot normally, then this cheat does take effect. But it's only a small cheat because the autopilot would be slowing down anyway. But what I've actually done here is used, is used the cheat to uh, get rid of an enormous amount of velocity, which it really shouldn't be able to do. So the problem here is that Frontier has kind of broken the second rule of game design. So first rule of game design is cheat as much as you can. Second rule of game design is, don't get caught cheating. So, can I sell my animal skins? Hmm, not for much of a profit. So, probably best to go back. And I seem to be a bit short on fuel. So I'll refuel. Just checking. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. My FIFA zero minus five. Sadly, out of range, and that's kind of the problem with this ship. Still. I'm, I'm, st I'm still making a reasonable amount of money, and I might actually be getting slightly more interesting missions now that I've been promoted to Master. Also looking for a Viper, and not finding one. But the next step up here would be an Imperial Courier, but that's 
really far beyond my price range right now. It will be mine. Oh yes, it will be mine. So I'm just window shopping with this one really. That's... No, that's fine. I was a little bit worried that that thing would be right in front of the space station. The autopilot does not handle that situation well. But it's off to the side of it. We'll be fine. Just checking that the heart monitor is actually working. Not sure it was. Alright, so. Can I sell my slaves? Oh, I kind of want to do that, but there's no way I can fit a group in my ship. Uh, well, at least I hit the jackpot here. I want to go to Archnari next. Sadly, that's not doable. 8th of June? Yeah, it'll take more than that time to jump that far. Sad. There's so much exciting stuff to deliver, but I cannot deliver it. So... And it's actually hard to come up with something to trade, but medicines is, I think, most reasonable. Um, it's it's not an import here, or an export, but it is an export from Fasis. In fact, it's the only major export. So, so I'm making some profit on this. Still looking for a viper, still not finding one. So, welcome to Achenar, the, uh, the capital of the Empire. And a slightly irritating place to get to. So, the star Achenar itself is very big and very hot, which means the planet's close to it. I mean, this is actually slightly further away from the star than Earth is, but it's still ludicrously hot. 1,000 degrees, so uh, civilization is actually out here, 50 AU away in the uh, moons of this gas giant, including Capitol, the, the most originally named planet ever, although... That may be a dumb name for the capital of an empire, but it compares pretty well to names like Earth or Moon. And uh, you see, uh, humans are not always good at naming things. And yeah, a forty light year, sorry, forty AU journey is going to be uh, slow. Fortunately. You don't have to sit through it. Mm. 
so why did I come here? Not for the gigantic amount of profits to be made for trading medicines, that's for sure. I came here because to get some upgrades. See, one of the first ship upgrades is not actually a ship upgrade, but an equipment upgrade. I'm going to sell my hyperdrive. This is the class one hyperdrive. And buy a class one military drive. So what that gets me, uh, apart from, is uh, now this, this thing only takes up six tons of space, which compares pretty well to a uh, 10 tons of space for a class 1. Gives me 4 more tons of space for trading stuff. However, military drives do have a very irritating drawback. They use military fuel, which is expensive, and also, when you use military fuel, it turns into radioactives. Now, normally, I would just sell the radioactives, but uh, there is a irritating problem here. It's illegal. I could try to lose it, get rid of it on the black market, but um, I don't really want to take that risk, especially because I couldn't tell you off the top of my head which of these, uh, which of the black market ads are real and which are police traps. So, since I'm going to Fasis, I want to check for any missions that aren't any annoying. Still not a huge deal. Hmm, I could take that since I'm almost certainly going to request anyway next, but I'm not certain. Anyway, uh, I'm, although I'm currently carrying illegal goods, it's not a huge problem because they only scan you when you dock, not when you launch. So, I'll be fine. And uh, when I hyperspace, yeah, the other ton of uh, military fuel has turned into nasty radioactives. It's, it's not a huge deal. You, you just do have to watch out for places where radioactives are illegal, which is pretty much just Sol and Achenar. Anyone buy my luxury goods? Nope. I'll just have to settle for making about 400 credits of profit on each one then. Small group, no, still can't do that one because small group means three or more, and I can maybe just about squeeze two people into my ship now. Messages to increase, yes, doable. Ooh, exciting delivery. Deliver gravitic detonators. You don't normally get those missions. I'm only getting this because I'm now a master. I also need to cheat.
so the question is do I want to cheat and do this yeah because uh, something fun happens when you do a delivery of fancy stuff I need to buy military fuel now probably animal skins Maybe I will need to cheat. We'll see. Nah, I'm not going to chance it. Yeah, with a whole day to spare, I probably didn't need to cheat. Still, still, bulletin board. Ah, Crimson Brassard. Yeah, you get a medal for delivering uh, fancy things. I'll try to show you. No. Uh, yeah, most missions are. There's a few more exotic delivery missions that I'm getting now that I'm a master, which pay slightly more. And um, yeah, first one gets you a medal. So my first medal is about six to earn from both the Feds and the Imperial Navy. Anyway, still looking for a Viper, and still not finding one. I mean, they do appear in the Imperial shipyards, but they only appear rarely. So I think if I want a ship with a greater hyperspace range, I might just have to upgrade the drive again. I'm actually not going to sell these and buy medicines. I'm going to go on to Achenar and hope I get a better deal. Imperial Navy. 
Well, no Imperial Navy mission at the naval base. That's uh, slightly unusual. So, because radio access is illegal, I'm just going to dump mine. And somehow the canister of radioactives hit, hit my own hull. That's annoying. But, oh well, it's just the cost of doing business, really. It's not like I'm going to get attacked. Action has a safe system. No one bought my slaves. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, the next upgrade is a little bit silly. I'm going to sell the class one military drive and buy a class two. Now, there are some advantages of this. Uh, this gives my ship an absolutely incredible range of 26 light years. I guess I should repair that. Oh yeah, another thing worth mentioning. Uh, you have to periodically service your ship or it will break down. But the really funny thing is, buying a new drive doesn't actually change the countdown <laughs> on when you need to service the drive. So, that doesn't make a lot of sense. There's something to be aware of. And, um, I can now do almost any delivery mission. Like, um, probably not Sefiel, because, uh, three days is pushing you, but Sahoa wherever that is, by midnight on 1st of August, completely doable. See, Saho is up here. And, uh, yeah, I can just about do that. Can't trade anything. Well, actually, if I, if I ditch the cargo bay life support, then I can trade one ton of luxury goods. Did I take that mission? No, I did not. So, the, the other advantage of, a, of a, having a hilariously overpowered drive is hyperspace time. See, it's 20th of July now. And it only took four days to get here. And where to go next? Can I get to Quince in one jump? <laughs> I can't. Crazy. Hmm. That was slightly interesting. Will there be any problems? The police may try to stop you. Hmm. Well, that mission sounds like fun. 
Except that I can't quite do it, can I? I mean, the, the real reason I bought this class 2 drive is not for trading. Obviously, I'm trading about one ton, which is uh, kind of silly. It's just so I can get out of the core of the Empire and into a more interesting place. I guess I can trade computers or robots. Okay. Quince is a uh, kind of on the edge of the empire. Not hugely unusual to get attacked here. And the funny thing is that 300 is probably more than I'll make, more money than I'll make trading one ton of robots. Attacking me now. They're not shooting. Ah, now they are. Looks like a gecko. No, nope, it's a Cobra Mark One. I'd love to do that, but no way I can fit a small group on my ship. Ah. Made a very small amount of profit there. So next up, Zaons. At least I'll be able to trade slightly more stuff this time. Did they import gemstones? Apparently, fine. No, still no viper. So I've finally made it to the uh, old world systems. That's the, uh, the tiny little hand-drawn pocket of systems that are made to look like the starting po point from the original Elite. So um, Lave was the starting uh, starting world, and of course the famous Reed Quad, which uh, is only twelve light years away. Maybe I'll go there next. Oh yeah, another thing about this kind of this part of space. 
Because lots of people want to attack you. With varying degrees of success. Ah, there he is. Mm, that was too close to comfort. There'll be one more eagle, I think. For a laser line. Ah, there we go. Adder. Four hundred bands beyond that guy. Oh boy, what is so slow that it's um, only attacking me now? A gecko, I think. Oh, they're not letting up. Alright, what's this? Oh, crap. Let's try not to die to that missile, shall we? So, I seem to 
be out running it. It's just a regular missile, but still enough to kill me should it get me. That doesn't seem very likely, does it? I think at this point, I don't care about that missile enough to even target it anymore. It's not going to get me. What I do care about is getting close to this guy. Sure, that missile is gone. Yeah, uh, that beam laser is uh, very scary. It could kill me very quickly if he managed to touch me with it. So I want to check, yeah, my rating's actually gone up now to average after all those kills. Check the bulletin board. That's it. Wait, what's I even carrying? I can't remember. Gemstones made some kind of profit on that. Ah, but now we have a uh, much more interesting selection of ships on offer. Turns out I can buy a Viper for pretty cheaply for the part exchange. That's because my uh, my class two military drive is so absurdly expensive. Anyway, standard procedure, of course. Strip the ship naked, so. No radar mapper, no autopilot, no pulse laser, and yep, that's it. Fill the hole with radioactives, because I'm a dick. And then buy a ship. I've actually got two Vipers. This one's kind of red or pink this one is come on blue all right i'll buy the blue one 
and what I will fit to it basically the same radar mapper autopilot 5 mega pulse laser that's kind of necessary and also one shield generator see the Viper is a bit bigger than the Eagle so it's kind of getting to the point where it's gonna get tagged by lasers and still it's not that bad I still have plenty of space in the fuel tank but plenty of space in the hull all right probably best to trade hand weapons they're a major import and an export here at Seance can't afford hand weapons Ugh. what else do they want farm machinery Well, I guess I'm looking for a job. Ooh, I'm just curious. Now that I'm average, yeah, I'm allowed to kill people. So uh, that could be interesting. But for the moment, I am just going to attempt the read quad challenge, which is quite simply hyperspace to read quad and survive without save scumming. So here we go. Let's check, I got everything. Autopilot, radar mapper, weapon, yep, that's everything. Yeah, this is a very oddly named space station. I served with Dan Ham. Like, who was Dan Ham? Who was his sister? And why is it in French? Still, that's where we're going. And I'm going to check to see if we're receiving the traditional welcome. Looks like we are. Advancing simulated time. All these ships are coming to attack me. Yeah, let's do it then. Should have bought a scanner, maybe. this is an ask. Um, the second biggest ship that uh, will attack you as a pirate. And he's doing a really good job of not showing me his top or bottom.
guy was carrying nerve gas. Oh boy. More air fighters. I can't wait till I have a ship that uh, has enough shield to just ram into them. What is this chip? It's big. It's a Cobra 3. And I really don't want to take any chances with that laser. So that was Reed Cross. I'm still average, but probably another trip through this place will get me to above average. And yes, it's an anarchic system. And I should have traded with computers, although I'm not sure exactly how I'd know that in advance. Still making a decent profit on hand weapons. Oh yeah, I don't have to sell radioactors anymore because um, <laughs> my ship isn't carrying, my ship isn't running on military fuel. So. Well, um, that I think will be the end of that. Uh, I'm starting to run out of time here. But um, hopefully, hopefully in the next episode I can uh, keep doing this and trade up to a really good ship like a Cobra 3. So, um, see you next time.